Hello, fellow light beings and fellow star seeds. I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light, with an astounding message from the goddess of the all that is, as channeled by my dear friend Galaxy Girl for November 10th, 2024. And she begins, Children, gather near and feel my comfort. I am who I am. I am the goddess of the all that is, the divine feminine that surrounds and nurtures you on your cold nights and ignites your inner fire on your dark nights. I am all. I am the maiden, the mother, the wise woman, the crone. I am she who gives life and she who assists in transitioning life. When life is over, you come into my arms, my embrace, if you have been close to me. It is a great mercy that in the split seconds and times that the soul is released, it gravitates towards the master it knows. You know me. I am the great mother of the all that is. Some call me Mary, others call me the great lady, and still others refer to me as the feminine aspect of the gods that were, that are, and that will be. I nurture you now. I feed you with my nourishment. There is great change shortly approaching on your near horizon, and it will change you. It will permanently alter what you perceived as normal, and you will grow. As in all seasons, there is great change on the trees. There is budding of new leaves, the grand unfolding of summer, the glory of fall and the stillness of winter in the darkness and the absence of leaves. Yet the evergreens are always green with promise of yet another vibrant season ahead. Nature takes and nature gives just as there is darkness that is very brief during an eclipse so too that planetary alignment in and the energy is forever new. You will be forever changed, forever new, forever reborn if that is your wish. For as the 1111 approaches and you are in this window now, you will be forever changed, forever expand. As the great mother of many systems and earth-like realms, I can say with great assurance that you are quite close to planetary ascension. The ascension struggles of your own hearts and preconceived notions of what is to be expected is closing in so that you may expand. One must accept their inner darkness with love so that it may expand into light. And that is what you have been doing, many of you. Some are yet to do this. Some are enraged and struggling in this now as there were some outcomes that they did not expect. And this is always so on earth life for your senses are dimmed and your perceptions are altered. For you see through your programmed sense of the preconceived notions of what should be. Many divine fingerprints are all over you, all over your lives, your hopes, and dreams. I hear them. I see you. I, your Divine Mother, am speaking and I hold you close to my heart. I wish that you could feel the intensity of love within this message. This one, and of course she's referring to Galaxy Girl. This one has taken to wearing the moon symbol to feel more close to me. For I am in the moon tide, the silent of the dark, and the quiet of the early morning. I am in the glorious buds of springs and the howling winds of the dark winters. I am everywhere, and I am within you. For you are part of my breath in your bodies of earth, for earth herself is an aspect of me, just as she is your planetary mother. I am your universal mother and I love you as my own, for you are my own. 
You are my precious child. You are simply having an adventure upon the dream world. In your dreams, you are far more awake. In your meditations, you tap into this power of the awakened self on the other side. I encourage more meditation, more quiet, for it is about to get very, very loud on your world. Loud with protests, loud with calamity, loud with sorrow. And yet joy is all around. Joyous laughter can be loud. Find the strong sense of joy, of elation, of peace. As these times approach, there will not feel to be much of this. You must find it within you. No one else will give it to you. This is the great mystery, that you yourselves are what you seek, that you yourselves are what you need, that you yourselves are your own deliverers, and so it is. Lay your head on my heart and feel the beating rhythm of peace. Be comforted. I am your universal mother, your goddess, your friend. I am there when you take your first and last breaths and millions of breaths in between. It is up to you to find me and hear my voice. I am all around you. I am in the stillness of the morning, in the stillness of your thoughts. Invite me in. We usher in the Christed consciousness with the Divine Sophia. I am the aspect of the Divine Sophia. In ancient times, they called me the great goddess and worshipped me with sacrifices of flowers, of herbs, and honey cakes. I never asked for human sacrifices. That was a darker energy of a more ancient time where my wants were overlaid with misunderstanding. But I will say that your greatest offering to me can be your trust. Putting your hand in my hand and feeling the power of love. Feeling the motherly embrace that I freely give to all of my children. You may receive me. Receive me with open hearts, clear minds, open hands. In turn, I offer you my strength in the coming days. And I believe you will find that you are more than ready, more than strong enough for this and very capable for the changes at hand. You will be creating the new heaven and the new earth, a realm of conjoined regions in harmony. Heavenly energies will be within your hearts if you allow them. The timeline split is heavily upon us or lightly upon us. I prefer lightly upon us, but nonetheless, it is here. Choose wisely. You will learn from either path, to be sure. But most definitely, the time is here now. Subtle shifts you will begin to notice. Abundance of life is yours. Abundance of joy is within you. It is all within you. I am here to assist you, to hold you, to comfort you, to walk with you. I am who I am. I love you most tenderly. I am. In the times of old, of the priestesses and the priests, you would walk with me in the early morning mists and we would be in silent communion. You would see me in nature, in the wild rose, in the brown shining light of the doe's glance. You would see me. There is much cacophony approaching and it will be work to find the stillness within. But it is still there waiting to be found. This is what the great masters have prepared for. This is the time of the great unveiling of truths and half-truths and falsities, of atrocities revealed, of deceptions prevailed. And the populace as a whole will be blindsided with pained rage like a wounded animal who didn't understand the depth of their captivity. You are to be the pillars of peace, of quiet hope, and a solid presence of light. 
You are the light warriors, the light pillars. More light is coming. I see much more light coming, and I see you embodying much of this light in the times I had be at peace. I am the goddess of the all that is. I embrace you. You are most loved. Peace. As I said, a truly astounding, magnificent message from the goddess of the all that is as channeled by Galaxy Girl. If you happen to be listening to this message on my own channel, Young Lightworkers, please consider popping over to Galaxy Girl's own channel and subscribing there as well. Her own channel is Galaxy Girl underscored messages. I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light, and it's truly my honor and deep privilege to be able to be the first to bring to you the message of the goddess of the all that is peace. Mm -hmm.